Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading here. This reading will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take that into account. You could listen to a reading and just be like, this is, don't try to make it up or try to make it fit. It may not be your reading for that particular day, but for others it may be your reading. Okay, so it, it's just very general. Whatever messages come through, that's what's coming through. Okay, if you would like to get a personal reading though, there is a link in the description box below this video. Um, please don't email me asking about the, um, the readings and how I do them. The link is below. Just click that link and that will take you right to the booking site. Okay, so either 30 minute or a one hour phone call reading is what I do. Um, okay, I don't use FaceApp, I don't use or FaceTime or WhatsApp to do the readings. It's just strict, straight audio. Okay. Um, and if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And thank you everyone for um, subscribing and clicking the like and viewing the videos. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. All right, my lovely, lovely Virgos. I knew you guys had a lot going on the past week. Um, a lot of ups and downs. But we're going to take a look at your person's energy. Now, this could be someone that you're currently thinking of, past, present, or future. Um, it really is just a love, general love reading. So, like, for some of you, this... I know some of you are like, I don't want the past person back. Um, you know, I get that. I get it. You want new love. And I will tell you that if I, you know, if I pick up new love for you, then I will say that, okay? I do see so far on the board, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, okay? So let's just put that out there right out front. Let's take at the past energy. Look at it. Okay. Children, your love life is affected by children and calling in your soulmate. Okay. So, wow. The past looked pretty amazing. Two aces. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So it looks like in the past there was some type of offer, new beginning that was happening in the past. Um... You know, these ones, we have one, 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 and zero. So these ones represent like initiation, okay? Someone took leadership um, in a situation, uh, in, th in something, okay? There was an energy of willpower and courage. Now these roles could be reversed. But the Ace of Wands can represent male virility and lust, can represent... Um, initiation of plans physical in the physical um a desire for growth okay um an urge to create or procreate um i'm trying not to shuffle when i talk because i know i have a habit of shuffling so um maybe a new project came in or like it kind of feels like um like a passion project or a new start. Maybe you were a passion project for somebody, right? I do feel like a person in your past saw you as a golden opportunity and or this relationship as like an opportunity. Every Everything, and if they didn't see that, everything around them was the atmosphere at the time was conducive to this moving forward okay that everything was just right everything there was a huge potential to become very stable and secure in this relationship in the past okay but it's it's an ace so it was just potential a lot of potentials to make a lot of money together or uh potential to um What's that word I just heard? Ex 
actualize the relationship. Okay, and that Ten of Pentacles, that feels like a firm foundation and a structure. Okay. You know, the gold, I'm seeing a lot of prosperity here. There was, there was a potential for huge prosperity. Marriage, uh, leaving a legacy, having something together. Children could be a legacy, okay? Somebody either wanted that or you had children together. There was a soulmate energy here, okay? A lot of praying, affirmations, and visualizations. But, you know, it just kind of feels to me like in the past it was more like... Uh, somebody saying like I see so much potential in this connection but maybe coming from for some of you this person coming from viewing it in a childlike way where it's like a child saying oh I want to get married but I can't I'm not capable of that because I'm only a child <laughs> you know um, let's take a look at this ten of pentacles here could have been potential for a business or some type of business that involved children. Okay, Queen of Cups here. So we have Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy, male or female. So I feel like this person in the past really wanted to nurture this connection. But it's like what I'm picking up here is we have the ones the aces, which represent the potential, and then the ten. So in between, the journey to go from starting something together, this person couldn't see the in-between stuff, right? What it would take, what it's going to be like, how things are going to happen. This person, I feel like in the past saw the potential there and just bypassed everything and just wanted it to just be like, okay, it's already together. But all the ins and outs and all the caveats and nuances and everything that it takes to go from point A to Z or from one to 10, all that just got missed or swiped under the rug. So what that feels to me like is because there's no cup energy and no sword energy, there was a lack of communication and a lack of emotional connection. Somebody just wanted to go from start to finish and not take the journey and the steps that it would take to get to the end zone there, right? Like in American football, you know, you got to gain yards in order to get to the end zone. This person just wanted to kick the ball all the way into the end zone and not have to do any of the necessary work in order to develop the bond between you and they okay so i feel like they felt like it would just come or it would just happen right queen of cups okay so a lot of potential and just wanted to have everything but not the emotional and the the good communication okay strength hmm leo energy and I wasn't looking at anything to pull this from. This just kind of came out. And I feel like what Spirit is trying to tell you here is that um, this is for you, Virgo, that it's taken so much courage and strength for you to be where you are right now. And I'm not exactly sure what that means for some of you, but the strength card, this represents self-respect, self-love, unconditional love. So whatever was going on back here, I feel like spirit is trying to tell you, Virgo, that you are appreciated. You are worthy. You are good enough. And wherever you are right now in your life or whatever's going on, you have what it takes to make the best of your life, okay? 
And I feel like that was just, you're a very strong person, Virgo. And I feel like that was a very small message, well, very big message that just came out specifically for you. Okay. Um, I feel like your person was trying to maybe have an instant type of relationship, but you maybe felt like you weren't really considered that it was mostly more about what they wanted. And I went on 10 minutes with that. Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands here. Okay, now we have the King of Swords. So you could have been connecting with um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, where um, they might have talked a good talk in the beginning, whatever sign they are, okay? Um, said all the right things. They're very st intentional and strategic in their thought process with trying to initiate something with you in the past. I feel like your person had a, um, like a motive of some sort to get what they wanted here. Look, two of cups. Yeah. I mean, listen, it doesn't feel like it's bad. I feel like this person with the two of cups, there was mutuality. There was, there was a, an opportunity here for romance and an opportunity for a romantic relationship or partnership, maybe even marriage or proposal. But it just kind of gives me this sense that this person, I don't know if they rushed it or they just, like we don't have to, we don't have to do all the, we don't have to talk about conflicts because the Ace of Swords is not here, and the Ace of Swords represents overcoming conflicts, having new ideas, uh, having mental clarity, sorting things out. Um, and the Ace of Cups would be that those key emotional bonds or developments or things. That this person just didn't want to have that stuff. They just wanted you to fill some kind of place for them. Is how I feel. Um, fill a, a role of some sort, okay? Maybe they just wanted children. Maybe their intention was just to initiate with you and uh, call you and then maybe talk about having children and then just having this ready-made, like prefabricated, ready-made. Um, I just saw, I was hearing like instant coffee. Maybe somebody's drinking instant coffee, like instant, that kind of thing. And I'm not seeing... If you changed that direction or you did anything different, I'm just picking up what was going on with them. This person, I feel like once they got to that place with you, then they would be able to be nurture, nurturing and, um, you know, someone that could be supportive or someone that could be, um, you know, emotionally open or express their feelings. But it's like, in some ways they did, but it just kind of feels like because of the ones that they just really wanted to go from point A to point B and not really make that connection. Like, it's kind of like, I know I'm going on and on about this, but it, it's kind of like somebody who, oh, I just, oh, yeah, there you go. I just saw it. Uh, my cousin Vinny, remember when she was clapping or, you know, banging her foot on the ground? My biological clock has to be met. <laughs> I have to have that now. And forget about having a joy and uh, the emotional connection or, you know, I, I have to be married and I, I don't care who it is. Uh, I have to just have you in this place or I have to have children now or I have to be in this particular place because it's time's gone by and blah, 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 blah. So I don't know if that's going to resonate for anyone, but that's what I'm picking up here. It was what was going on with this person. Um, the present energy, though, here, let your friends help you and trust. Hmm. Okay, so the King of Wands is here, and the King of Wands represents having, um, like, taking a bold, making a bold move, being confident, self-assured. Um, hmm. And I just heard this person is, like, kind of sitting back right now, waiting for the right time to come in and, and balance things out and make things right. Um, I feel like this person is connecting with, friends to try to get some support um so it could be you know asking their friends to help them with something i'm not sure let me, let me take a look and see what it is 
Mm. Okay. About making some kind of solid offer to you in the present. Knight of Pentacles. And what's trust? Situation is calling. This person, yeah, you're a wish come true for them, but did, did you leave this connection behind a long time ago? Or did you just end something here? Because I see this person as showing up here as that King of Wands doing a lot of contemplating before taking action. Like he doesn't sit as long as any other king, but he sits and he thinks first before he takes action. Um, Ha! And there's the King of Pentacles. I just said that. Oh, communicating with his friend. Or if it's a female, communicating with her friend. Um, talking things over. What are they communicating about? Ooh, the Three of Swords. Virgo, I think you broke this person's heart. Are you just... I don't know. I don't know exactly what you did. You know your story. Um, we're not really looking at you. But this person is... Your person here is talking to somebody else about some type of a heartbreak or an argument or you know maybe divorce or a loss that they're feeling or maybe they're depressed yep and the ten of pen, ten of cups just came out in the reverse something ended here there's trouble an empty nest broken relationship or marriage okay so why is why is temperance here okay ace of wands again Right? Oh, they're going to come back your way and try to initiate again. Try to set things right or make things right or get things back into balance with you. And it just kind of feels like, Virgo, you don't want that. You don't want it. Either you don't want this person anymore or you don't want this relationship anymore. Let's take a look at... Aha! There's the Ace of Swords. See what was lacking in the past. Now they're going to start trying to make things right by trying to overcome these conflicts, solve the problems. You know, that justice card is like cause and effect, a win-win solution, the truth coming out. So, you know, either they're going to actually open up now because they were lacking that and they'll start communicating or talking to you because they feel a loss or something's over. They might even come in with a solid offer uh, they might have their friends, could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or, or they're thinking about you, okay, and this loss. Or their their friends are telling them, listen, you got to seal it if you want to be with Virgo. Virgo's not going to wait around forever, like you can, but you can't seal it with just because you say you don't want to lose a person, like you got to make some kind of offer, you got to invest, right? And I feel like that's really what you wanted was somebody to just invest or commit you know, like to a relationship that's healthy and has all the elements, uh, like the emotional, the physical, you know, the mental and uh, the spiritual and everything involved, like a, a real healthy relationship. This person was only coming in with the physical and <sighs> the urge, <laughs> mostly the physical because the wands and the pentacles are physical, tangible things, you know, but it was always just a start, potential. So they're coming back in to try to have this potential start with you again. Um, they're going to potentially try again uh, because they don't want to lose you. But I don't know, Virgo. I think you might be. I don't know what you might be doing. What is Virgo saying? You're trying to be in courageous and standing in your power. But you have the hermit, so you're kind of pulled away. You're like in hermit mode. You know, you're going in for clarity here. Um, trying to gain some personal truths. Trying to become illuminated here. Um, now, some of you might be on the cusp of Leo Virgo because we have strength in the hermit. Um, but whatever's going on with you, I don't think you're making any moves here, Virgo. I think this person's going to be doing the jig around you dancing a jig around you. Let's take a look at the future. Make the effort. Honeymoon. Oh my gosh. Virgo, I'm telling you now. Either you, either you set some standards or boundaries in a relationship, you said no, or you just refuse 
to chase or go back to something that's not fulfilling for you. Um, I feel like your person is, I think because of that, this person's going to try and really make the effort going forward and try to have marriage. You know, like their perspective I see is changing here. Pisces and Taurus. And that five swords, if they were playing around or talking to other people, they might be out there. They might have been out there and seeing that life is just no good without you. Life is just not, there's nobody else. Where's my pen? There's nobody else like you, Virgo. No one. And I feel like I'm going to write this down. I feel like they're going to um, maybe time away since that. And maybe, not all of you, some of you have somebody who may just cut you out and let you go or not try to return. They may feel the loss, but it seems to me like for some of you, this person is going to try to like reinitiate <clears throat> or initiate something here based on seeing things differently becoming enlightened and that's what the hanged man is about that's like that's kind of like um it's just seeing things differently getting a different perspective yep and the knight of swords becoming very persistent with their you know it's kind of like a light bulb i just saw like a light bulb over somebody's head where they're like boing new idea wow i didn't think about it that way i didn't see that i didn't see it coming i didn't understand and now this makes so much sense everything's making sense and now this is what i'm running with because that this just now totally makes sense and and whatever that is for this person there's some kind of like it's close to a wake-up call but it's more like um like becoming wise gaining wisdom and because there's some truth that's been created and that's what justice is truth because there's truth then they run with that truth and so with the five of swords if there was anyone else that they were talking with or whatever they're just cutting out all these old thoughts it doesn't have to be other people but swords are the intellect and thoughts and cutting out all of these old beliefs or whatever was going on because there's enlightenment here yep the fool carefree i feel like your person had a strict way of thinking and a strict particular way of doing things um, and definitely wanted it to be on their terms and i don't feel like you agreed with that anymore i think that you gained the courage you got went in and got some insight really sought to be self-reflective and understand what's going on and i think you came because Virgo, you're very patient and very giving, but I think it, you know, it takes a lot for Virgo to give up on someone. It takes so much. And because once their heart's in it, that's it. But once Virgo comes to that place where it's like, they just, they can't go back to that particular person because of certain particular things unless there's incredible miraculous change then virgo will be gone and i feel like if you did that with this person and you if, if you haven't come to it now and you're on your way you're thinking about it you're going to come to it and i feel like that right there might be the wake-up call or the the realization that this person needs however for you maybe too late and this is in the future this is not right now for some of you it could already be happening um, but this is in the future okay but this person is coming in refreshed with the fool ready to have this new adventure and this new start and this new beginning with you and they may just come to your door and find out that you have already left the house now if that's your story and that's something that you need to do that's what you need to do but we have the hierophant here and this is a marriage card 
you know, it's a lot of other meanings as well. But this is traditional, um, traditional relationships, traditional marriage. I feel like this person's going to take a risk. Look, hangman again. They may have had views on marriage that were very unorthodox um, in the past, or they just wanted to get this need met that they felt like they needed to have met for themselves. You know, whether it's your person's a male or a female, but avoiding, it's just kind of like somebody who, they put a label like, I don't want to have a deep committed or a deep loving relationship with you. I just want you to fill a void or I just want you to be in this particular place so that I don't. So it's all about them. Okay. But there's like totally like enlightenment happening here with this person and Virgo. My gosh. You know, I just kind of feel like some of you are just in this place where it's like, okay, now that it's over, now they're waking up. <laughs> And for some of you, you might take it, take them back. You know, we've got the honeymoon card here. This pe person going to try and sweep you off your feet and really make the effort. And for some of you, you might just give it another go. I mean, listen, I think that three chances, uh, that, that's my personal opinion, but Spirit's confirming that. If this is like the third time, let it be the last. And if it doesn't go forward in a new dynamic in a different way, then be done. But don't go to four or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more chances. You can forgive all that time, but that doesn't mean you have to stay in it. If this person is not able to learn any kind of lesson, it looks like they're waking up to things, but if they're not able to, you know, you got to keep it moving. You're not the F boy whisperer or the F girl whisperer. <laughs> all right, let's get some. Okay, I pretend that I don't care. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. I know that I crossed the line with you. I want you. Virgo's like, yeah, mm -hmm. I hide behind material things. I couldn't tell you face to face, but I hope you're happy. And they want to be open and vulnerable with you. Okay. Oh, and they forgive you. Ah, <laughs> Virgo. You, are you dealing with someone who's like incredibly full of themselves for them to be forgiving you because you didn't do anything wrong, Virgo? I think you just made a decision that best suited you. And there, and maybe you left them or you were done with it and now they are forgiving you for that. Well, your soul remembers this. Like your person, ugh. yeah, they have regret. They're coming back because they have regret. That's that's no reason to be in a loving relationship with someone because you have regret. That's on you. That's that's you trying to soothe. I'm not talking to you, Virgo. I'm talking to a person. If your person's coming back because they feel remorse for the way they treated you, fine. Come back and apologize, but keep it moving. If you're not going to make any changes, like an uh, apology without any action for change behind it is nothing. That's just somebody feeling sorry for themselves. So an apology comes with an amendment and an amendment means, you know, like if I take, and I, I'm not, I know I don't have to school you, but if this belongs to you, Virgo, and I take this and I smash it because I'm pissed off, coming to you and telling you that I'm sorry that I did that is one thing, but coming back in with a brand new one and making an effort to replace it and make change and show good intention and moving forward, that's an apology. But just saying I'm sorry while this is shattered and you lost your candle and the glass that maybe your mother or somebody gave you, where's the effort? Where's the amends? This person is going to come in with an apology to try to make the effort, but it's being done out of regret and remorse. Re remorse how they treated you, or remorse that you that they're by themselves, or remorse that they can't they weren't able to find what they were looking for, where they may have said. Um, something to you and they wanted to go find what they were looking for and they couldn't okay wow you've got a book here so either that's a bible for some of you or um somebody's like reading a book self-help book or is um studying or writing a book at this time okay 
Oh, we have two men. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you guys, you have a cleaver. Maybe somebody's last name is Cleaver, but this is a chopping block. You've got somebody's head on the chopping block. <laughs> or you cut something off with that cleaver. <laughs> Boom. Sorry if that was too loud. Namaste. <laughs> Virgo's like, peace out, brother. Peace out, sister. Namaste. I hope all goes well for you. <laughs> Who am I talking to? I don't even know. Okay, so we have a bee. So honey bee. Hmm. It's weird though, because this honey bee has like little spots on its wings. So this is kind of feels like a cross between a honey bee and a ladybug. Um so I don't know if there's such a thing as a honey bug or a lady bee. Lady bee. Maybe somebody's name is Lady Bee or called Lady B. Okay, so there's the pentacle. Hmm. That right there. Some of you are just got a new job or a raise or promotion or um, a new investment or income, but there's also a new opportunity coming here. And I do feel like it's going to be another ace of pentacles energy where this person try to come in and invest again okay so i think you need to be weary wary of that and then we have ballerina shoes ballet shoes so somebody here might not ballerina but be in ballet or you're watching ballet um maybe you have some ballet shoes old ballet some of you either you you've taken up ballet or you do ballet or you're thinking about it and if you're thinking about it go get your shoes and go focus on your new stuff that you're making your hobbies and things that are making you happy oh and we have little kissy lips pink kissy lips here so for the females or males it just doesn't matter you know i just heard that um when the going gets tough, put on your lipstick and get out into the world. And then we have the skull. Um, what is this called? Around Halloween. I always forget and I always say it. It's, um, I keep, I just keep hearing skull candy, but it's those skulls around that Halloween, with the beautiful um, painting designs on them. I know you guys are going to comment, tell me what it is, and you're looking at, oh, oh, yeah, that's what it is. But something that's very important to somebody, those skulls with the, like, the beautiful flowers and designs on it. Um, maybe you have one. Maybe you paint them. Are you looking at one right now? Or you, you want to get one? Um, I'm just feeling a lot of, like, cosmetic stuff, maybe cosmetic surgery, is it will ring a bell for some of you or there's um there's something to do with cosmetics or beauty you know that you're attached to in one way or the other you're just really looking very alluring and seductive at this time and if you're a male you know it just could be you know getting your 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 some facial trim or you know getting your hair and getting in physical good physical shape you know a, a lot of like aesthetic things going on here uh, especially if you're a male and you've got that badass or you're getting into a badass state <laughs> maybe some of you are getting tattoos <laughs> changing things up living your best life okay virgo i'm gonna leave that here this was really long so i will um be very grateful if you would click the like button and share if you want. And if you please do subscribe, that would make me very happy. And I will see you guys tomorrow with your next daily message. All right, Virgo. Love you. Bye.